tile efficiency for American Mahjong is complex. I generally see two strategies. The first one I call maximum usage. This is where you look at your drawn hand and you choose a category that uses the most of your tiles, regardless of multiples. Multiples are pairs, pungs, and kongs. The other strategy I call targeted onset. This is where you identify multiples and build around them specifically. You target the multiples. You gather tiles in your hand that support them and build around them specifically. When you run out of discards, that's when you either whittle down to one category or pick a hand to release more discards so that you can continue building around your multiple. I'm going to play a game of solitaire and we'll have two players focus on maximum usage and two players focus on targeted onset and then we'll compare results. Let's see what happens. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to the racks. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles. East will get 14, south, west, and north will get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for East. So for East, we have a pair of flowers, East and White, three, six, eight, nine, pair of ones, four, two, five, six. So for here, we have a one and a flower in multiples. Let's focus on targeted onset and build around flowers and ones. The options for flowers and ones are going to be consecutive run, odds, no jokers, so maybe a pair hand. We do have a wind and a dragon. Let's keep those. So this is where we're going to target these. Look at the rest of our tiles and pick as many as we can to support them, hopefully leaving us with some good discards for the passing. So I'm wondering if we could either do consecutive run or little odds. So let's keep one through five, because then we could do one, three, five, and that gives us these to pass. Let's pass those three. So we're gonna do targeted onset for this player. Targeted onset. Let's see what we can do for south. For this player, we've got a bunch of multiples. Look at this, one, two, three, four, four pair. But because of where they are, I don't know if we're going to be able to use them all. We do have a 3, 5, and a 7. Let's see if we could play a 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 using them. There is the fourth hand down. 1, 3, 5, 7, and then 9's in pairs. 1, 3, 5, 7. This 5 we'd have to throw. And then 9. 1, 3, five, seven, nine, three, five. We do have three, six, nine here though too. Three, six, nine. What about a three, six, nine in opposite suits? Three, six, nine. I was hoping that we could use this.
I don't think it's really working out for us though unless we did five seven nine in BAMs but we have a gap five seven nine in BAMs and the flower five seven five BAM seven crack nine BAM red dragon matching the seven hold this for joker bait as an option hold the three for a potential one three five let's go ahead and discard those three I normally will not pick a direction where there is a gap but because of all the multiples I'm willing to risk it so in this case I'm thinking targeted onset is going to be a good strategy let's see what we can do for West for West look at that we have a pung we have a pung so we have three four five six seven eight let's play odds so this is going to be maximum usage odds we're going to gather all the odds now we may be able to use the dragon because there is a knitted hand third from the bottom one three five dragon so let's hold the dragon and we can discard those three let's see what we can do for north for north we have mostly dots but we have little numbers and big numbers here we have little number in a pair for north I'm thinking we should maybe try for three six nine or six seven eight nine let's play maximum usage either three six nine or six seven eight nine one or the other we're just going to split that up now because there is some news potential we're going to try maximum usage here we're in between three six nine and consecutive run we're ready for the Charleston we're going to do first right east passes to south south to west west to north and north down to east so we're looking for one through five which we got all of it all one through five we have six eight we're focused around the ones we have a new multiple though one through four there is one through five we've got gaps though no three and no five dot I'm thinking the first hand let's continue focusing here now we could do one four with two three in a different suit in the middle either cracks or bams so there is some potential with mixed suits we need to give something up though let's pass the five crack and the one so that we can break that up a little bit okay one two three four that's what we're going to focus on here we got two multiples three five seven we've got a nine okay look there five seven nine dragon this could be joker bait now we've got like numbers that's almost as bad as passing a pair I would not do that we're going to break up that three and pass those but I'm thinking we should play the knitted hand third from the bottom pair of flowers is what we need here then we need a pung and a pung 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 all pungs 
and that is an exposable hand so we can call for those tiles. So let's see what we can do now for West. One, three, five odds. We're looking for odds. We've got dots here and we have tiles we can pass. Now we were thinking maybe one, three, five with the dragon. So we need a tile to pass. Let's go ahead and give up the nine. So we're still focused on odds. Maybe little odds would be the most of the tiles, but we can keep a couple options. Here we're looking at either three, six, nine or six, seven, eight, nine. We did get a six, so let's keep that and we can pass those. We're gonna go across now. East and West Pass, and then North and South. Oh, we got a four. And we have tiles to pass. One, two, three. This is getting a little risky, but I want to keep my options open here. I don't think the white dragon is going to be helpful here, but I don't like to pass it. I like to try to use it if I can. We're looking for five, seven, nine. We've kind of picked a hand here just because of where the multiples are. Let's stick with those and pass. Maybe we can make that a little better by passing a six instead of a two, four. Either way, it's mixed suits, but this is a little further than the four um, with the six in there. One, four, six instead of one, two, four. So we're breaking up the consecutive number a little. Oh, we got a five crack. One, three, five, dragon. One, three, five, dragon, maybe. We don't need to commit yet. Let's give up the three, and that way we can pass those. So we'll st we're still focused on odds. But if we're going to focus on little odds, maybe we should go ahead and give up on those. That's a pretty risky pass, though. Let's look at the one, three, five, and one suit. One, three, five, and one suit requires dragons or all Kongs or news. And also flowers, which we have none. We have no flowers. Even the one, three, five with dragon, we still need the flower. Let's break this up. At least with another suit. Okay, here we go. Three, six, nine. Look at the three, six, nine that came in here. We do have a pair of East, but I think News might be better. Let's discard the East and keep the East and the South. And then let's give up on the seven and the eight and focus on three, six, nine, because that's what we have the most of. There's a three, six, nine hand with News, but it's one suit. We have three, six, nine with no gaps. We'd have to give up a pair, but we could use that for Joker bait maybe. So we're ready to pass now. We went across. Now we're going to do first left. We're going to pass east up to north, north to west, west to south, and then south to east. One through four, six, there is consecutive there. We have gaps though, or we could maybe switch to two, four, six, eight. If we do one, two, three in cracks or two, three in bams, we really don't need those, nor do we really need that six. I'm thinking to focus one through five or one through four. We have a gap of no three unless we fill in here with one of these suits. Here we have five, seven, nine. We got a keeper. We need to pung, 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 pung. These are pairs right now, but all we need to do is pung. So that's looking pretty good. 
Let's pass those three. We have one, three, five, dragon is most likely, I think. I think we could go ahead and pass those. And whether we pass that or that, six, one, half dozen, the other. We got a keeper and a keeper. Three, six, nine, three, six, three, six, east, south, and an 8BM. So the 8BM can go. As far as the 369 with news, we could do that, but we're, we have a gap with no flowers. We do have other options though. We could maybe play the second from the bottom, 369 and then Kongs of sixes. We could do three, six, nine in mixed suits, but we have a gap. I think we should give up those and the threes. Three, six, nine and sixes, or maybe mixed suits with the six, nine, in which case we should keep the three. So maybe we could pass those three. Still focused on three, six, nine. We did first left. Now we're gonna do second left. So east passes to north again. North to south, or west, north to west. West to south, south to east. We got a two, one, two, four. We need a three badly. Not sure how this is gonna pan out. Ooh, we got a three. We could do, if we get a two bam, we could do one, two, three, four. So I think we need to, let's just look one, One, two, three, four. So they're all pungs with a pair of flower. Oh, pair of flowers. One, two bam, three bam, and four pungs. Now we could use jokers with those. So let's go ahead and plan on that. Let's hope for jokers. I don't normally subscribe to that, but I don't like passing a white dragon, especially with a two, because that could fit right in with a year hand. But now look what that's leaving us with, like numbers. Either way, we need to pass that dragon. We gotta pass it. I think passing the dragon is better than passing like numbers with the two. Here we go. Five, seven, nine, that's what we're looking for here. We have tiles we can pass, that's better. One, three, five, or one, three, five in one suit might work. We can pass those. It's a little risky with a six, eight in one suit. Gotta think about your hand first, passing defensively second. Okay, we got a keeper. Three, six, nine, sixes. Since we paired up here, we maybe could play three, six, six, nine. Let's pass those. We're gonna go across now. East and west. And then north and south. No keepers, no keepers. We do have a little consecutive run here now. One, two, three, five. Let's keep the three and the green.
because we could still do one, three, five green, and that would use the most of our tiles. Let's go ahead and pass these. That's pretty risky though. We could break that up a little and pass the white. I try to make that a rarity. Whoops. We got a three. Three, six, nine, and then Kongs of sixes. This would be the second from the bottom under three, six, nine. Okay, we need to make a choice. Let's just do it. Three, six, nine, Kongs of sixes. We have no gaps, but we are light in the sixes. So we went across, now we're gonna do last right. North passes to east, east to south, south to west, west to north. Oh, we got the three and we need two BAMs. We do have two tiles to pass for optional cross and we could give up a two dot. We need jokers or two BAMs here. Five, seven, nine, red. We didn't get any keepers. We could break this up a little bit. Pass those three. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing the four. Or one, three, five, green. We can pass those. and we don't have any keepers there. We're gonna pass three and risk passing the white dragon because we have no gaps. Now, for this particular hand, we could give up the nine because we only need pairs here. Let's go ahead and do that. Or we could keep it and focus on the one suit hand with dragons. Let's do that. Three, six, nine, dragon. We need a pair of white. Let's go ahead and do that. We could use this for joker bait and then we'd have two discards. So now we're gonna do optional cross. So east and west pass fully. North wants two. So we'll pass these two. No keepers, we wanted two BAM here. We're gonna need jokers. We're gonna need jokers or two BAMs right there, but we've got a pung pung. We need to pung here and then we need to fill in the two BAMs. Five, seven, nine, we didn't get keepers. No keepers there and no keepers there. Okay, we're done with the Charleston now. We're gonna take a quick look here. This player has a gap, but we need one tile here. These are good to go. We have four discards targeted on set, focused on initially these two blocks. Here, we also did targeted on set, focused on, I believe five, seven or five, I don't remember what the multiples were, but it was with five, seven, I believe. So we're kind of looking at a specific hand here, five, seven, nine, dragon. I think we could get rid of the one first. We do have five, seven, nine, and one suit. And there is a five, seven, nine, and one suit with a pair of flowers, third one down, that we could potentially switch to. So let's just hold that one for a bit. Let's talk about this one. One, two, three, if we get a four crack, that one suit option might work. But also we have one, three, five dragon as an option. I think we probably could get rid of that. Five bam, so four discards. Three discards, four discards. Here we have three, six, nine, and Kongs of sixes, or three, six, nine, and a pair of dragons that match the first hand, and then the second from the bottom. Either way, 
we have about five discards. Four discards if we go with three, six, nine, and Kongs, or five discards if we go with three, six, nine, and the white. And that's maximum usage. So we're going to go ahead and discard the East. And I'm going to discard separately. I want to try to track the number of discards to a ready hand. I've not done this before, so we'll see how this goes. We're going to draw seven crack. We need three of a kind all through here. So that was a keeper right there. Let's discard the one bam and draw here. Five crack. Okay, let's discard the east. And we'll draw here. Where's my marker? There it is. We're drawing up here. Seven dot. Three, it's pretty, but we need three, six, nine. Let's go ahead and discard the south. North. Drawing for south. Red. They picked their tile again. Okay, I think we can give up on that option. We need to pung here. We've got a pung. We need to pung here, and then we need a pair. This is coming together quickly. Let's discard the seven dot and draw here. Five bam. There's a multiple. One, three, three, five. Let's see, is there an option there? Second hand down. One, three, three, five. One, three, three, five. I think we should give up on the consecutive run and focus on one, three, five. So let's go ahead and discard the two dot and draw for north. One dot. Drawing for east. Down here, we're going to pung. And discard four bam. Drawing for south. Two bam. That is a discard. Two bam. They need that two bam or they need jokers. <laughs> so they're committing, but they're set here. They've got their pair and pungs. All they need are jokers at the moment or twos, two bams. So let's draw. Nine crack. Nine crack. One, three, five. It's a pretty, but uh, let's discard this eight bam. What they really need are either three bams, green dragons, or three cracks. Let's draw. One crack. The eight bam was just discarded. Let's go ahead and throw that. And draw for this player. Five crack. Two dot was thrown. Let's discard that. And we can draw four south eight crack drawing four west green dragon I think we should commit them one three five dragon one three five dragon we need flowers though badly let's just hold these these might be good joker bait. Let's hold this too for an option. Let's go ahead and get rid of the nine crack. And then draw four north. 
five dot, we don't need that. Five dot, seven dot was discarded. Let's throw the seven dot. And we're gonna draw four east. Oh, they got a joker. They needed that badly. Let's discard the one bam. So they're one away. They have a discard, one away from ready. So one bam was discarded, we're gonna draw. Six crack. We're gonna draw for west. Eight crack. Drawing for north. Two crack. Drawing for east. Eight dot. Drawing for south. Seven dot. Drawing for west. Nine bam. Drawing now for north. Seven crack. We're gonna draw for east. Last tile of the second wall. Eight dot. Okay. Last tile, second wall. We're going into the third wall. Everybody should know what category they're playing at a minimum. We're doing consecutive run here. Targeted onset, one discard to ready. We need a joker or a two bam. And that is in seven discards. For south, odds, they're, they are set. We need to pung, pung, pair. So there's work to do. There are two discards from ready. Here we have maximum usage and we have a ways to go. We have joker bait, so we have one, two, three, four discards, four to six discards, depending on which way we go, because we could play one, three, five. So four to six discards there. Here we have three, six, nine in one suit, leaving us with five discards, or three, six, nine, with Kongs of Sixes leaving us with four discards. All right, so this came from this player. We need to count discards, so I'm gonna turn this. I'm borrowing this idea from Richie, which is Japanese Mahjong because this player is short a tile with their discards. This indicates that they threw it, so all their discards are accounted for. So this player's had seven discards, everybody else has had six. We're gonna draw for south. Six bam, there's a multiple, so we can use that maybe for joker bait. Let's discard the seven bam. So now they have had seven discards. We're gonna draw here. A one dot, this is pure, there's no joker there, so we can discard that safely. Seven discards for them. And we're gonna draw for north. Eight crack, we can discard that. Okay, here we go, drawing for east. We need a two bam. Oh, we got a four dot. That's not gonna be helpful though, because we only need a pung. Let's go ahead and discard the five crack. And we're gonna draw here. Now up here, if we play one, three, five, like this, the five, the one and the five need to be pungs and we've got it covered. So we do not need to claim that. So we can go ahead and draw four, four. Okay, so we can draw. Oh, flower, they got the flower. Let's discard the six spam. There's eight discards for them and we're gonna draw. One bam, 
We can discard that. It's already been thrown. Eight discards for them. They need flowers. Let's draw for north. Two dot. We don't need that. And now let's draw down here. We need a two bam or a joker. Seven bam. Don't need it. We're going to draw now for south. Four bam. Don't need it. Drawing for west. Five dot. We can discard that. Drawing for north. Joker. There we go. Now they could play either three, six, nine with dragons or Kongs of sixes. They don't have to make a choice just yet. Let's discard the five dot. It's been thrown. And now we're going to draw down here. Flower. Let's go ahead and maybe we can get a joker out of that. Let's discard the four dot. And we can draw here. Two bam. Let's discard the six bam. And we're going to draw here. One bam. Drawing for north. Four crack. Drawing for east. South. We don't need that. We need a two bam or a joker badly. Here we go. South. Drawing for west. Oh, flower. Oh, they got what they needed. We can now discard these. Hold that for joker bait. Let's throw the two crack. And now we can draw for north. Four bam, four bam. That's not a keeper for them. Let's discard the one crack. And now we can draw down here. Seven dot. Drawing for south. Joker. Okay. They're ready to win on a five bam or a nine bam. We're going to discard the two bam. This player's not ready for it. You can't call. You have to have two to make up for a pung. You have to have two of the three to complete it with the discard. So we're short a tile for that. We got to wait. So now we're going to draw for west. Four crack. We can discard that. So we're waiting on a 5-bam or a 9-bam. We could use this in either place. 4-crack. We can discard that. We're going to draw for east. We need a joker. There's two 2-bams two out. So a joker or a 2-bam would do. 5-dot. Drawing for south. Mahjong. Self-picked. Picked it. So we have pear, pung, 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 knitted. So the bams and then cracks. Since the dragon matches the crack, that, that's why that's called knitted. It kind of loops. This player won in 12 discards. Targeted onset, focused on 579. This player was one away. They look, oh yeah, we needed to discard a flower. They needed a two bam. This player is three away from ready. They needed a three bam. They needed to pung here. Here, three, six, nine with white or three, six, nine with Kong. So they basically have 
three discards if they play this hand, which is the second from the bottom, or they have four discards if they're going to play the one suit option. I think because we need a pair here, there are none out, and we have one joker, I think I would have leveraged the pairs and gone with Kongs with using jokers here. I would have discarded that though and held on to see what would come in, but the kicker would be if a three dot, six dot, or six crack went down, we'd have to make a choice using our only joker. That's, that's the kicker there. So in this case, I think targeted onset was the strongest all the way around. Targeted onset or maximum usage, which is best? I think either work the key is good decision making. In this case, targeted onset was stronger. And I do believe that targeted onset for American Mahjong is the strongest strategy overall. I could be proven wrong though. Which is most comfortable for you? Maximum usage or targeted onset? Write it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy video, may all your picks be keepers.